Well, I'm really not that surprised. We knew it would uh, tighten up uh, toward the end. Uh, you know, fortunately, uh, I'm ahead still in the race and uh, have a great deal of confidence with our uh, broad base of support that we have across the state of West Virginia. We look uh, forward to a huge victory tomorrow night. Um, how concerned are you with the that conservative Democrats are winning? Well, I think you know, when you look at uh, each of our records, uh, you know, I think I've got a proven uh, track record that uh, I'm the one that's been fiscally responsible in this state to be able to have, once again, a uh, balanced budget uh, surplus out there. Our bond ratings continue to be upgraded in the state of West Virginia, and we've just been listed as uh, in the top three fisc uh, financially sound states in the entire union. So I think that speaks a great deal of, of my fiscal conservatism as being a member of the uh, legislature and as governor. Sir, you've got nearly uh, about 26 hours left until the polls close tomorrow right. night. What's your uh, final strategy to keep getting your name out there and get people out of the polls? Obviously, we'll be continuing to make phone calls. We'll be uh, uh, encouraging people to get out and vote, and I think that's going to be the key to this race is to, is to get our supporters out to the polls, and I think they're going to do that. Well, when you keep showing the tie to President Obama, how much do you feel is that tie? Well, I think when you look at where those ads are coming from, it's coming from the Republican Governor's Association, an out-of-state uh, outfit that uh, really has not does not have West Virginia's uh, best interest in mind, but they are looking at next year's presidential race. Uh, what I'm attempting to do is do what's best for West Virginia, and I've proven it in my past that whether it's a Democrat or Republican in the White House, if it's not good for West Virginia, I will not support it, just as I continue with the lawsuit against the federal EPA. Going into tomorrow, now the course this last poll did show was a little closer, but you haven't been, you've been ahead still in every single poll. Every so poll, do absolutely. You have, so you have some sense of confidence at least going into tomorrow, right? Oh, abs absolutely. We feel very confident about the race tomorrow. We just encourage everyone to get out and vote, and we think we'll uh, uh, have a good victory tomorrow night. West Virginia. Um, your reaction to the PPP poll that shows you one point down. Oh, we feel good about things. We felt good for a long time. Just uh, close it in the end. We can win this thing. What do you attribute that movement to? What do you think you've done or the acting governor has done to make that gap narrow? Well, we've worked harder than he has, I know that. And uh, But our message is resonating. It's all about less regulation, less government, less tax, and giving our state back to the people. I'm not a career politician. I think you figured it out by now. What's your strategy right now with just over 26 hours left until uh, the polls close? Well, we've been all over the state today, and uh, we'll keep going until the end. We'll play right till the last second. One of the things they pointed out in that poll today is they thought if you have a few more weeks, they think this thing was going to go your way, but they're saying eh, time may be off. Well, I don't know. I think it's perfect. If you win right at the end, that's the best way to win. And we feel good about things. Uh, the, the campaign, and not necessarily yours, but the campaign against the acting governor by various groups has, right. has tried very hard to attach him to President Obama, who is wildly unpopular right. in the state. Do you think that's played a factor? And if you have, if you do think so, how much? I think it's played a factor, and he is tied to Obama. I mean, he's su actively supported Obamacare, and we're, we're going to get rid of Obamacare. We'll be the next state to sue to get rid of it. Pretty stark contrast there, if you look at it. It seems like you've harped more on the, on the ties to Obama, more so late in the campaign than you did earlier. Was, was there anything behind that? Uh, it seemed more you were focused more so in the beginning, kind of on, on just how long he's been in politics and that kind of thing. Now you seem to be really focusing on Obama more so. I don't think it was any set-out strategy. Obama gives you a lot of material, and I mean, here we are taking advantage of it. It's pretty simple. Um, you're both conservative uh, shades of gray, conservative fiscally. Mm -hmm. uh, at least his record has indicated he's been fairly conservative compared to many politicians in West Virginia. What did you think you had to do to differentiate yourself from what you would do differently if you were in office rather than... Well, I, I tend to disagree. I'm fiscally conservative. I believe in less government. I don't know if that's the case on the other side. Mm -hmm. Less tax. And make it easier for people to be in business. We didn't need any more regulations. We need to make it easier for folks here. we got to fight back. We need leadership above all else. And we don't have leadership right now. Um, you spent a lot of the campaign really talking more so about Governor Tomlin more so than yourself. Are you concerned at all that there are still a lot of voters out there who, at the end of this, still don't know who you are? I tell you what, people, if people would listen, they know who I am. I've been in the business of drilling holes my whole life and helped <laughs> a lot of other companies get started. Last year I was in Chile at this time, just getting back. You know. Uh, rescuing people. It's time to rescue all our West Virginians that have been in a dark hole way too long. We've got a good plan going forward and we can move our state to be all it should be. 
just to be 100% sure, you are not a fan of Pitt? That's correct. <laughs> you are right, Kenny. <laughs> you are right. One of the you. things in this poll show that more Democrats are actually coming over to your side. What do yeah. you think that is attributable to, um, especially if you're We're, West Virginians are conservative people, and uh, we all think a lot alike. The party lines have really don't meet as much as they used to, and we all want to move our state forward and do the right thing for our state. And we're very conservative. 